Mike Portnoy here coming to you from San Francisco where I'm on tour with the Neil Morse band and uh, we're gonna take a, a walk through my kit and uh, this kit uh, has been with me for several bands now this kit started with the winery dogs and the hot streak tour and we built this kit because uh, I wanted to have single-headed concert toms very old-school sounding like uh, Peter Chris Roger Taylor Alex Van Halen uh, I wanted something big open retro for the winery dogs tour so we built this kit for that uh, back in 2015 and since then I've used this with a lot of different bands I had this out with Sons of Apollo and now out with the Neil Morse band so uh, let me walk through the kit it's a it's a Tama star classic babinga uh, like I said single-headed concert toms 8 10 12 13 and then what are the floors 16 and 18 I have to ask Jose my my drum tech of 20 Jose's been with me for 26 years now. So our motto, my motto is no ho, no show. Anyway, so uh, Star Classic, uh, single-headed, 8, 10, 12, 13. The, the floor toms over here are 16 and 18, and then we got a gong drum, which is really nice. And uh, obviously all the concert toms and the gong drum are mic'd from underneath. And being I'm talking about mics, I have all uh, Audix mics. Uh, various ones all throughout the kit, but uh, the concert toms are underneath, the snares and the floor toms are on top. My, my two snares are both uh, my uh, signature Melody Master snares. I have a, my main one here is a 14, and my side one here is a 12, and um, these are in custom finishes. I mean, my Melody Masters come in usually in a black finish. We did a limited edition white one as well about 10 years ago, but uh, these are custom silver sparkle finishes to match this kit. And uh, the, the big feature, the, the, the unique feature of my Melody Master snares are the, the three-way throw-off. So rather than just most snares you have either on or off, with the Melody Master we have off, we have a loose snare, and then a tight snare. And both the 12 and the 14 have that. Uh, my sticks, being I just picked up my sticks, these are my Pro Promark 420Xs. I've, I have pretty much two signature sticks now with Promark. Uh, the, the 420 is, is the, the, uh, the normal wooden one, and it's a little thinner and lighter. That's what I used my whole career until a few years ago where we developed the 420X, which is uh, a little heavier, a little thicker, so I use this for my, my more metal gigs, even though I'm using them here with the No Morse Band. Uh, I developed it when I was playing with Twisted Sister and Metal Allegiance. I wanted something a little heavier. So I have choices of both. But anyway, these Promark sticks, they, uh, they come with the uh, Active Grip finish. And I also wrap them. Well, I don't wrap them. Jose wraps them. Um, but I hold my sticks very unorthodox. My left stick is held with the butt end out. My right stick is held with the tip out. So Jose has to literally wrap half the sticks as left sticks and half the sticks as right sticks and have to put them in the stick bag accordingly. So I always need to know which, if I'm grabbing a left or a right. But I do that just to get power on the snare with the butt end, but uh, definition on the, the hi-hat and the ride with the right hand. Speaking of the hi-hat and ride, uh, I've been with Sabian now for, uh, oh God, uh, coming up on 30 years, close to 30 years at this point. And... Um, Obviously, it's a wide array of, of, of stuff, uh, starting with my signature symbols, which are, these are my max splashes, uh, 7, 9, and 11. And uh, my signature snare is named after my daughter, Melody, while my signature symbols are named after my son, Max. And uh, we have three different splashes, and I also have uh, two different sets of the max stacks here on this kit. This is a mid stacks, which is a 10 and a 10, and over here is a 12 and a 14, which is a low stack. And then the rest of the symbols are just a variety of stuff. We got AAX, we have HHX, we have, uh, this is the Artisan Ride and Artisan Crash. This is one of Neil Peart's Paragon Chinas. So it's a, a big array of, of different symbols. And, you know, playing in a lot of different bands as I currently do. I'm currently in six different bands. I have different setups. So, you know, this is just this kit. This is the Neil Morse band kit, Sons of Apollo kit. Um, when I'm out with Winery Dogs later this year, I'm probably gonna have a small little four or five piece kit. Uh, when I'm out with Transatlantic or Flying Colors, it's a, a more streamlined single bass kit. 
when I'm out with Metal Allegiance or Twisted Sister uh, or when I did the Shattered Fortress thing a couple of years ago. It was a much bigger kit with octobons and everything. So, you know, that's one of the fun things about playing in multiple bands. I get to have multiple setups and it's different drum setups, different cymbal setups. Um, so it keeps it fresh for me. So that's it. We did cymbals. We did drums. We did mics. We did sticks. Over here is uh, Latin Percussion World, which uh, we have a, a mounted tambourine and we have some wind chimes. And um, also, uh, I, I use uh, GH Audio ears, and uh, I have custom molds. These ones are uh, I have a few different ones, but these are the one with the, the Mike Portnoy ambigram right there. And uh, and my vocal mic, Jose's got a big job with because not only is Jose dealing with all these drums and cymbals and everything. He's also doing the video uh, on this tour, but he also, one of the biggest jobs with me is my vocal cues, because I sing in pretty much every song. So he's got to know all the cues, and he sits behind me. A lot of people think I have a magic mic that just goes in and out on its own, but no, that's Jose swinging, swinging it and getting every cue. So he sits back here, uh, triggering the videos, giving my mics, filling up my water uh, cups and towels and everything. So it's a full-time gig drum teching for me. Uh, I think that's it. I think we went through the whole kit. Um, Remo heads, obviously. Um, th uh, these are the, the black dots. Uh, you know, when I wanted to go with the, the single-headed retro thing a few years ago, I wanted to go with the black dots just to keep it old school. Thanks for checking it out, and see you on the road.